You're safe here. The Shekandars don't know the location of our camp. I don't want to overstay my welcome. The Arch of Ormoroth is inside a tent near the enclosure. I'll meet you there later. I have to speak to my lieutenant. If I eat, I thank you for having helped our chief Ashamira. We are lost without her. I hope you will be with us to fight the Hierarch. Oh dear, I I'm afraid I don't have enough time for that. He can keep his memories. He will make a precious ally, Dajarun. Be careful. This could be a Shekandar trap. He wants to go through the wells. We were just talking about you. This is Dajarun, my lieutenant. Like the rest of us, he has sworn to put an end to Harmy Kyle's tyranny. How do you do? I must go. I have things to do. Okay, so I decided not to cut this video as this chapter is even shorter than the previous one. Um, so I'll get straight to it. We are in the rebel camp and we need to find Ulmaroj Arch, which uh, is around here somewhere. But um, first we're going to have a little chat with this guy. I have no time for you. I have to attend to these weapons. As Ashamira's lieutenant, I have to make sure that everything in the camp is functioning perfectly. You don't seem to appreciate me very much, even though I helped your chief to escape. I'm not a gullible peasant. I'm Dajarun, and you'll have to do more than one good deed to impress me. Okay, so let's do another deed then. Something isn't working. What did you do? By the faith of Dajarun, if you damage that weapon... I simply recharged this wrist, Jadgar. It will certainly be more useful to you now. I suppose I should thank you. <laughs> okay, he just tried to shoot at us. Uh, normally he would shoot across me and... Um... Some more adjustments. Hello? Would you mind stop shooting me? Um... Anyway, we need to talk to him again. Dajarun, I just want to go through the arch so that I can get home. I won't betray you. Life has taught me to be suspicious. All the same, I wish you luck. Take this. It's a sounding stick. It'll help you undo certain traps in the desert. Ulmoreth carried one when he went through the arch. Okay, so... Basically, this is the camp. Uh, I'm just going to show you around quickly. This is uh, where Willoughby is staying. Then you can go outside of the camp. Um, but we won't go too far because we will just uh, die. So we're going to head back. But just thought I'd show you because this is a very short chapter. And... Um, There's another pen here, nothing really to interact with. Another pen here. There is a guy who uh, who we can talk to. In a hundred thousand years it might be the dominating race. He's actually talking about this little little thing here which we've already picked up many of them. Tell me, are there a lot of you in the camp? Just a handful. But thanks to Ashamira, we are sure to win, and the sand people will be free. I hear that you too are looking for Ulmoreth. Let's say I'm tracking him down. Did you know the king? I must have, but I don't remember. My memory goes with the rhythm of the wave. Our chief Ashamira remembers Ulmoreth. She has the gift of memory. We'll follow her to the end and free the musician king. Excuse me, Fahid, but I have to take care of my tripodons. I wish you good luck on your quest. Okay, then we have another cactus here, which we can cut up. I already took the cactus heart. And, um... We can actually give that uh, to the guard we were just talking to. It's a honey cactus heart. 
Tripodons love them. But I have a much better use for them. Make ash fire. Ash what? Ash fire. It wets your whistle and puts punch into your work. Here, have a sip. Well, a scientist owes it to himself to experience every discovery. Mmm, my. That's not bad at all. A bit strong, perhaps. <gasps> Look out. The player may have trouble driving since the hero's been drinking. Well, he just walks as straight as an arrow, so there's no there's no real real danger there. But uh, what we can do is we can uh, give the rest of this honey cactus to our friend, and then we're going to head over here. Shamira is back. She must have had news of the king. I hope we're able to set him free soon. Kronos hears you, my friend. May the god of time help us in our struggle. I love this guy, how he pronounces Kronos. Kronos hears you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this chap. I'm proud to speak with an Ethaid who ridiculed the Hierarch's guards. There are many who think we only want to have fun. They are wrong. Our three clans are merely different facets of the same soul. Three clans? Yes. The Ethahids, the Adamids, and the Visahids. The body's sand follows the wave, but the soul is spared by the breath of Kronos. You are very lucky that Ashamira trusts you. She is usually quite suspicious. In any case, she is afraid of nothing. Well, almost nothing. I can tell you, she hates those Lemur sand stealers and is vulnerable to their power. They say she encountered one of those specters in the desert, just after it had deharmonized the Shekandar and escaped by the skin of her teeth. You are welcome, Ephaid. Now, one other thing that you have to do here, but um, I cannot show you because I've just um, realized I don't have any hourglasses at the moment, but you have to give him one of the hourglasses um, that we gave away to the Spectre, um, because in return he will give you a, a full recharged hourglass, so that was a bit of a mistake, but um, uh, not a problem, not a problem. We're just going to head in anyway. You found what you were looking for, the coral arch that Ulmerith went through on his strange journey. I haven't succeeded in awakening its power. contains black salt gems. You can take them with you. Okay, I will. So what is this you're having a look at? Take care, Wells. The Sea of Eternity's shores are difficult to get to. If you manage to get through the arch, you still have to cross the crumbling rocks without getting caught in their traps. The sand stealers may stop you. Ulmerath had to conquer them in order to get to the sea. It's a map of our glass city. Seen from above, it's the shape of a nautilus. A map of our glass city. Cool. One last thing before you go. Ulmerath had a quartz flask with him, which he wanted to fill with water from the Sea of Eternity. Legend has it that this water protects your memory. He left that flask there. Perhaps you can find it. I wish you luck, Wells. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. Right, so this is the arch and um, we need to activate it. Now there's two ways to do that. We can either cast the spell, the Voyage of the Arch, um, which will cost us some Jad Gruul, but we can also use our Nautilus. There you go.
Hey, what happened? Okay, so... What do you need to do? You need to activate it. But you need to go through it at the right time. And only when you can hear the waves of the Sea of Eternity. Which is right about now. <laughs> 